you're someone who grew up climbing outdoors, basically. And, yeah, well, and, both. and climbing indoors. Yeah, exactly. So to talk about the, the contrast between them or what it meant to you to kind of learn both. All of the summers I'd spend outdoors in France and Europe traveling. This is Climbing Gold. So uh, okay. you want to start off, just give us uh, your name and bio. Just uh, who are you? Yeah, um, I'm Brooke Rabatou. I'm a professional rock climber uh, based out of Boulder, Colorado. How old are you? <laughs> um, I'm 23 years old. And how long have you been climbing? I've been climbing pretty much since I was like two years old. Both my parents were professional climbers, so pretty much my whole life. <laughs> nice. Do you, yeah, do you remember starting climbing? I don't remember like when I was two actually starting, but I do have like fond memories of climbing in France outdoors uh, near like where my family lives out there. Um, like doing my first like top ropes and lead climbs and I was in like diapers and stuff. I don't know if I really remember it, if I just seen pictures and stuff, but it feels like a memory. That's actually who I am with a lot of childhood memories where we had yeah. pictures on the wall growing up. So, you know, I remember because I actually also had a formative childhood memory of climbing in France when I was maybe six or something like a, I don't know, maybe eight, like a family friend took me up a big spire. And I think it was before I technically, or maybe I just started climbing. That's the thing is I don't even totally remember it, but I just remember seeing the photos my entire life. So I sort of remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing with like in my basement here in Boulder at our house, like we had this like little wall um, that was, I mean, like probably three feet high with like five holds on it. And I, there's a picture of me climbing on that. And I do kind of remember that because later we put it in my brother's room so he could climb up to the loft, like put it to the, um, to the wall. So those are kind of some of my earliest memories, I'd say. For someone who's been climbing literally their entire life, what do you remember yeah. about learning how to climb? You know, because there must have still been some milestones where you're like, oh, that was the first time I got really scared climbing or the first time. Yeah. My first like lead climb, I remember, which was this climb called Flying in uh, Anglar, this cliff Anglar in saint Antonin, which is where our house is in France or was. Um, and it's like, I mean, I think today I could maybe do it no hands, like not actually, but it's like scrambling more than climbing. Um, and I had done it many times on top rope. And I, I remember lead climbing that. And like, I was like, well, oh, that's a big, that's a big moment for me. And, and I don't even know how old I was. It's probably like six or something. Any other climbing milestones that you remember? Um, let's see. I mean, cause I remember all the random news things where, you know, you and your family members were like, I don't know, like eight, eight, and you always had news flashes of like, you know, 11 year old sending 8C or yeah. whatever. I, like, I don't remember the exact numbers. Yeah, I'd say, They're I mean, I remember insane. most of those. Yeah, I remember my first 13A was in Gorge du Town in France. Uh, it's this climb called, I think it was called Octopus. And I did it like in my bathing suit. Like I wasn't, we had just gone swimming and then we were like climbing and I'm literally just wearing a bathing suit and like a harness. And um, it was like all pockets and I was super excited. And the guy next to me who was climbing was like, like I did it really fast and he was like, I was like, that's my first, like, I don't know, 13A or whatever, 7C plus. And he was like, you could definitely do harder. <laughs> and I was like, that was fun. Um, and, and I remember, yeah. And how, how old were you then? Like eight or something? I don't know. Or like yeah. maybe nine? Eight or nine, probably. Like, like, like you barely knew how to read? <laughs> I learned to read pretty young <laughs> to, my, yeah. to all my baby dolls. But <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not going to know any of the like age age range that like I just I'd have to look up but you guys can do the same but totally. I feel like I don't yeah I remember more based on memory like I remember my first 14a God's Own Stone in um the Red River Gorge I remember doing that uh like first try of the day super cold like numbed out I had been working it like that was probably my first like real project um so that like felt really good and then the same day um Another climber who was the same age had sent a first 14A, so we we're both the youngest, which hmm. was really cool. Who who was that? Tito. He's a oh the poor yeah poor kid that died in that accident. Yeah, Italian. Kid. Oh yeah, poor kid. Yeah, so we were like kind of the first to do a lot of things um, at the same hmm. time. Man, yeah. it's pretty devastating. Yeah, totally. And at what point did you basically? At what point did you start climbing indoors slash competition climbing? You know, because um, you're someone who grew up climbing outdoors, basically, and yeah, well, and, and climbing indoors. Yeah, exactly. So to talk about the the contrast between them or what it meant to you to kind of learn both. Yeah, I mean, I I just grew up doing both my whole life, honestly. So I don't remember like 
when I started indoor or when I started outdoor, because that was just always my life. It'd be most of the winter, you know, I was in Boulder with my family going to school and climbing and doing competitions with ABC. And then all of the summers I'd spend outdoors in France and Europe traveling. Um, but yeah, indoor first memories. I mean, ABC used to be based out of the BRC. So we had like a little room. Um, and A-B-B-R-C. then BRC. <laughs> ABC BRC <laughs> uh, and like a little tree house. And I remember climbing there, doing like competitions and most of all, just climbing with like my friends who were also like r- really strong. There was like probably 10 of us um, that were competing nationally. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I just remember like having a good time more than like the actual moments themselves. 